My name is Hilda Wong. I work for DLA as a network administrator. I'm taking the Cisco CCNA class because I'm required to have the certification for my job. Scott is very knowledgeable and has a lot of experience and he knows his topics. He's very thorough in explaining something when a student has a question. And I like the way the class is set up. It's not too crowded. The course material is excellent. I like the fact that it was given to us before we attended the class so we can download it and start reading some of the information and getting familiar. For a new person entering into the network field, I think it's great because that way they can read ahead and try to understand some of the stuff before we get into class. Scott is very good. He's not monotone, so he doesn't bore us to sleep. And he does interact with the students asking us questions and trying to get the students involved in the class. I would recommend Think Tank because from my experience and from my coworkers' experience on how good your training class is and how good the material is and how good the instructor is to, to get you through where you need to be, which is passing the certification and understanding the course material. And even with me coming in with experience, I am still learning some things that I didn't know before coming into the class. My name is Tim Hardman. I am a senior consultant with Booz Allen Hamilton. Uh, my role there is mostly internal for uh, the AV and the conference center as well as video conferencing and webcasting. Scott as a teacher is very engaging, uh, much better than some of the other classes I've taken. Yes, you can do these classes virtually, but I feel like a lot of the times when you have those virtual participations, you have that disconnect as far as what you're trying to retain. Um, so being in the room with Scott has been very helpful as well as all the study guides and materials that you guys uh, provide. I did take the training through a different Cisco provider previously and when I took the first ICND1 class I did fail. Um, and I based that on kind of the scope of what I was trained. After doing it with Think Tank I was able to pass on my first attempt. Um, you guys helped focus um, the material that we're studying to the exam and helping do the exam live in the classroom. With Think Tank and Scott it has been we're going to give you a lab but we're going to engage in it more and give you the real life scenario behind it. As students are having issue he finds that troubleshooting around it because of his knowledge of what he's experienced with it as opposed to all right just scrap it and start over. He's going to help you figure out which step you made the mistake on and help you correct that.